There are many video games on the market today in which your player can choose their own special abilities and use them in-game. And in Minecraft, there's a way for you to use special abilities in the game, and I've created a way to let you choose which ones you want and change them at any point. So right here, I have a bunch of different little test abilities. It's more of a proof of concept, and you can create your own once you use this concept. So I'm going to show you them all. This is Super Jumper. And how it works is you just splash yourself with a bottle of experience when you want to use it. And for 10 seconds, you can jump four blocks high. Grab this diamond. And you can't reuse your ability right away because that would be a little overpowered and people would just keep on using it. So after 30 seconds, you will get your bottle of experience back and you can use your ability once again. Now this ability, well useful, doesn't work in all scenarios. So if you want to change your abilities, all you do is stand on the other ability select screen. And this is exploit proof, so you don't get another one. You, It removes a bottle of enchanting that was already in your inventory, and you gain another one. So amphibian is another little test thing that lets you maneuver underwater more easily. So if you splash yourself with this one, you can now see underwater, and you can breathe underwater. And this one lasts for two minutes' time. So I'm going to wait for this to wear off, and be right back and show you guys the next little proof of concept ability I have set up. Okay, let's try out the next ability. This one's pretty simple. It's healer. So what this one does is if you take damage, this should bring me down to half a heart, splash yourself with this ability, and you're up to full health. So now we're stuck down here. I'm going to switch to creative mode, get back out, and show you guys the next ability in a second. Uh, this next ability is a bit overpowered, but like I said, this is just a proof of concept. And if you use this in your own adventure map, you can create your own special abilities. This one's called Mob Sweeper. If there's a bunch of mobs and you know they're really overpowered and you don't want to fight them, splash this ability down and they're all disappear. And this changes to peaceful mode quickly, but it changes back to hard so you can spawn some more right away. This last ability is my personal favorite. It's called Berserker. If I'm pronouncing that right, or spelling that right. Let's say there's a bunch of mobs, all you've got is a wooden sword, and you know they're way more powerful than you. Splash yourself with Berserker, and for 10 seconds, you'll be really powerful. Boo, yeah. As you probably guessed, this feature uses command blocks, so this is only possible if you're making an adventure map or playing around in a creative world. So don't try making this on your survival worlds. Uh, how it works is this first one, it subtracts 100 levels from the player who steps on the pressure plate to avoid different exploits and make it so you can change your abilities once you've already selected them. Like, let's say I have the Berserker ability now, let's blast myself with this, I will get the Strength 4 and Resistance 4 for 10 seconds. But if I step on the Super Jumper, I the levels don't stack, so I can't like exploit it or break it in any way. And because of this, this is completely doable in multiplayer. And when one player activates, only that player who activated his ability gets affected. So it's pretty easy to use in multiplayer settings. This next one, it adds 16 experience points, and it takes 17 to get to level 1. So I'll put a chart on the screen now with how many experience points you need to get to each level. But what you want to do is take one less than that value. So for this one, you need 67 to get to level 3, I think? three Level 4. You need 67 experience points, so you subtract 1, that's 66. That means that when they splash themselves with this bottle of experience, they will level up to level 1, so you can detect it with te slash test 4 and use your ability. This next command block simply clears out any bottles of experience the player has in their inventory to prevent this from being exploitable and stacking up multiple ways to use your ability. This one gives you a bottle of experience, so you can use your ability at any time. And this last one just announces that they select the ability. Like I said, this is broken up into two components, the ability selector and the detector to detect when a player uses his or her special ability. And this doesn't have to be placed behind the ability selector section, you can place this anywhere in your world underground. And you actually are going to have to include multiple of these little detectors if you have a large, larger world, because if it's far enough away, these clocks will not be running because this chunk will not be loaded unless it's in the spawn and the player will not be able to use their ability. So you might have to build more than one of these in different areas depending on how large your map is. So what this simply is, is this one just distributes an effect to a player who is level one. So right now, if a player selects this one, they'll be level zero, but they're one point away from going up to level one. Meaning when they splash themselves with this, they will be level one and this condition will be met. This gives them the effect of jump boost four, I think, or jump boost three. Jump boost 4, it lasts for 10 seconds, 
and then it goes into this one, which tests for a player who's level 1, and after a short period of time, it subtracts 100 levels, so they're back to level 0, and adds 16 points again, so they can use it again. But they do not get a bottle of enchanting again until 30 seconds afterwards, because it takes about 30 seconds for an item to fall completely through a cobweb. So this dispenser simply tosses a piece of redstone down here, and after 30 seconds, this command block down here is activated, and you are dispensed another bottle of enchanting. So, you can set this period of time for however long or short you want. You can make them instantly get their ability back, which in my opinion is pretty exploitable, or you can set it up for a 5 minute timer fairly easily. Now the rest are pretty much the same, a few of them are slightly different. This one simply adds two different effects, so there are two different command blocks. This one right here is just one effect. This detector is a little bit different because it changes the difficulty. This changes the difficulty to peaceful, and then this changes it back to hard mode. And this uses test 4, so when a player meets this contingency and goes up to level 8, this is activated. And this is the same, subtracts 100 levels and adds 134 experience points. This last detector is like other ones and simply adds two effects to the player. I hope you were able to use this in your adventure maps. I really hope it helps you out. Uh, the world download link will be in the description so you can come into this world and test out these abilities for yourself. But like I said, these are just proof of concept abilities and you could create your own for your own adventure map. And you can probably figure that out on your own by changing the slash fx command or coming out with something creative on your own. So if you couldn't understand what these command blocks did in the video, I recommend you download this world and just play around in it until you understand what everything does and can copy it into your own world. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. See ya.